The City of Stars. A place where the rich live lavishly, and the not so fortunate struggle to survive day by day. Two boys who have been on the run for two weeks are spotted dashing into an alleyway as the sun begins to set over the skyline. Pico, a high school dropout and notorious graffiti artist, and Benjamin, a blue-haired boy with aspirations of becoming an artist. Both come to a halt, catching their breath. <sighs> that was close. Do you think he saw us? I don't think so. This is the third time this week we've almost been gone. I know. Now, with them plastering your face all over town, inevitably, someone's eventually gonna catch on to us. We both know the way they settle things, Ben. We need to be ready for it. I told you running away wasn't a good idea. I can't do this. What if... Ben. When he catches us, he'll... Hey, it's going to be okay. I've got your back every step of the way. What do we do? How about we do a practice round? Repeat after me. did amazing, Blue. I knew you could do it. Thank you. Anytime. Though, we should probably get a move on before- Footsteps can be heard at the entrance of the alleyway, interrupting their conversation. Uh. A tall man stepped out of the shadows. He goes by the name Father Ferris, a retired rap battler whose name is well known by all throughout the city. Back in the day, his soulful voice was his claim to fame. But now retired, he lives very well off with his beautiful wife. And up until a few weeks ago, his prodigal son. Benjamin! We've been looking all over for you. I see you've been running around with that... street rat again. Nice to see you too. So, you think you're all grown up now? If you're such an adult, then you should have no problem beating me in a rap battle! What? Come on, sport! Show me what you got! <laughs>
Lofty, can you hear me? I yeah. What happened? You were out cold. It was him again. Oh. Are you okay? Yeah, it's over. At least for now. Wait, where are the kids? I don't know. They said something about candy and ran off. Don't worry, though. They got a ride from someone driving a white van. They what? Did I say something wrong? Let's just get out of here. This place is, gives me the creeps. Uh, on second thought, maybe we should just stay here until morning. Director's note. No spooky voice were harmed in the creation of this chapter. After what felt like an endless night, both Pico and Benjamin awoke feeling quite the opposite of well-rested. They left the House of Horrors, which was actually quite pleasant during the daytime. On foot, they spent the morning heading across town to a local train station. In order to stay out of trouble, their plan was to get as far away from the forests as possible. Where's the damn train? Calm down. It'll be here soon, I'm sure. It better come quick. We've already been set back enough. Yeah, I know. Penny! I haven't seen you in weeks! Hey, Grace. What are you doing here? Oh, you know, just out and about. Hey, you know what would be fun? A duet, just like old times. Uh... I'm sorry, I have to catch a train. I promise it'll be quick. You know how I feel about promises. Okay. Son of a...
missed the train like three times. Anyway, you handled that first song like a champ, Benny. You were always the better singer. You know, your parents and I have been worried sick about you. When are you gonna come back? You are coming back, right? I'm not, Grace. I'm sorry. Oh, come on, Benny. Enough of the jokes and silly talk. Maybe this will change your mind. <laughs>